Hello! This video tutorial shows you how to enrich the musical experience of your game by adding feedback at key points in the action. In WISE, you can do this with stingers and triggers. This third tutorial builds on the concepts introduced in the first two interactive music tutorials. If you haven't already done so, you may want to go back and watch them. Now that you're familiar with the basics of interactive music, let's look at how you can use stingers and triggers. Stingers are brief musical segments that play over any currently playing music. A stinger plays when its associated trigger is called by the game. Like other game syncs, triggers are a mechanism for driving the interactive music in your game. For example, you could have a brief theme song play each time your main character earns a certain number of points or eliminates an enemy. Now, let's create our own stinger to play each time the main character earns a bonus in the game. The first step is to create a new trigger that the game will use to notify WISE. In the Project Explorer, switch to the Game Syncs tab and create a new trigger named Bonus. Later, your audio programmer will integrate this trigger into the game. Now, let's select a segment that will be associated with the trigger. Switch to the Audio tab and select the Bonus Stinger segment from the Interactive Music Hierarchy. This segment will be the stinger. Let's listen to this segment. Now, let's create an association between the trigger and the stinger. To begin, we will load the in-game music switch container into the property editor and select the stingers tab. Click add and select the trigger we just created from the list. Next, in the segment to play column, click the browse button and select the bonus stinger segment. Now that the stinger and the trigger have been associated, bonus stinger will play every time the bonus trigger is called. Now we will define when the stinger will play after its trigger has been called. In the Play At drop-down menu, we will select the Next Beat option. Let's hear how the stinger sounds with the stealth music. While the music is playing, click the trigger button, select the bonus trigger from the list, and click the Call Trigger button to hear the stinger. Although this particular stinger works well for all objects in the hierarchy, you may want to customize the stinger for certain objects. Let's first look at how stingers work within the interactive music hierarchy. Here's a representation of our current project. We have a top-level music switch container with three child music playlist containers. Each playlist container has several child segments. If you associate a stinger to a top-level switch container, as we did in the previous example, it automatically assigns the stinger to all objects below. You can, however, override this by simply assigning a new stinger at a lower level in the hierarchy. If you do this, all objects below will inherit this new stinger assignment. If you don't want a stinger to play for a certain music object, simply add a trigger to the list and don't associate it with any segment. Now, let's go back to our example and override the stinger for the Fight Playlist container. Load the Fight Playlist container into the Property Editor and select the Stingers tab. Click Add and select the same bonus trigger from the list. In the Segment to Play column, click the Browse button and select the Bonus Stinger Fight segment. We will use the same Play Add option as the previous stinger. Now when the bonus trigger is called during the fight music, this new stinger will be played. Let's hear how the new stinger sounds with the fight music. Now, let's look at another example of how you can use stingers. Imagine that in your game, there's a crucial moment when your main character's backup team arrives to help him fight the enemy. By playing a special musical theme at this moment, you can add excitement to the scene. For this example, we'll call this special theme Backup Team Arrives. To begin, we'll import the source file, which automatically creates a new segment in this project. Let's look at the segment in the Segment Editor. Like other segments, it has an entry and an exit queue. However, for stingers, exit queues are not taken into consideration. Now, in the Trigger section of the Game Syncs tab, we will create a new trigger and name it Backup Team. In your game, the backup team can only arrive when your main character is fighting. Therefore, in WISE, 
we will assign the backup team trigger to the Fight Music Playlist container only. Load the Fight Music Playlist container into the Property Editor. Switch to the Stingers tab and associate the Backup Team trigger to the Backup Team Arrives segment. For the Play At option, we will select Entry Queue. This ensures that the Stinger will start playing at the beginning of a fight segment. Let's play the fight music and trigger the Stinger using the Transport Control. Now, let's adjust the volume settings so we can better hear the stinger. To do this, we will route the stinger to a different control bus that will duck the volume of the main music control bus. In the master mixer hierarchy, create a new control bus and name it Backup Theme. In the auto ducking section, click Insert and select the main music control bus. Now, set the volume to minus 12 dB to get a clear distinction between the two pieces of music. You can also adjust the fade options to achieve your desired results. Finally, return to the Backup Team Arrives music segment and route it to the Backup Team control bus. Let's play that again. Notice how clear the stinger sounds. That's it! You now know how to use stingers and triggers in WISE. For further information about stingers and triggers, refer to the interactive music section of the help.